All right, coding fans, we are back and I've got a new game for us to do. It's been a little bit, um, but I've got a new project for my students, so I figured I'd uh, show it to y'all. I'm pretty excited about it and I am pretty impressed with myself. We are playing War. So I'm going to go ahead and run through this uh, so that you can kind of see what's up. So I've got my two players. This one's playing gems, so this one comes up with three. That one has two. They get the score of one. So every time our person scores here on the left, they get a block. On the right, they'll get a platform. And I've got it set so that we've got a gym counter and we've got a switch counter. All right, so here the switch counter is going to be bigger, so we're going to go through. All right, and it just goes from one to five. Um, and I used a random jumper, number generator for one to five. So they each gave one, so they didn't win. Nobody gets a point. This one gets five. So our, and this one's four. So our, our guy on the left won. But I'm pretty proud about myself, really, um, thinking of this and kind of going through here and being able to do this with, with kind of what we have. Um, so as we're finishing up, I'll move this over. Um, it looks like we're about to get a win. Nope. Five to four. Um, taking them away is pretty interesting. So it's not too much code, but it is a decent amount of code. Um, here, we'll let this finish. There you go. Five to two. This person kind of rolls forward. Speed this up. They win. They move forward. Do a little dance. Life is good. All right, so how did we kind of get this? So I've got my let all coordinates equal world dot all possible coordinates. Um, I've got player one and player two initialized and placed. So I need to count three things here. So I've got a gym counter, a switch counter, and I've got a gym score and a switch score. All right, and the gym counter and the switch counter obviously count what they're supposed to. The score counts, uh, they get one for every time they quote unquote win. And then I ran functions. So for one gym, I've got one gym. For two gyms, I've got gym two. For three, four, and five. And I got them set up um, kind of like a die, where one is just one, two is these two, three is straight across, four is the four corners, and five is this X we've got right here. All right, so I've got that for my gyms. And I just uh, placed them one at a time, as you can see here. All right. And then I've got this function play gym. And this is where I put my random number generator. So variable gym generator, random integer, integer from one to five, okay? So that's what generates it. And then for each outcome after that, if generator equals one, place one gym and count one gym. Two, place two, count two. Place three, count three, all right? So we are placing that one gym function and counting, all right? So that's gonna help them keep score of the individual games, all right? I've got the same thing for our switches. I just call it SW1, SW2. So switch one, switch two. And the easy part about this is I wrote all the functions for the gyms, hit copy and paste, and just change, the, uh, change them to switches. And because everything is moved over by one, two, three, four, five, I just needed to change all the columns, increase all the columns by five. So switch two. So this one's, so this gym right here, sorry about that, is at two, five, which means that this one's at seven, five. All right, so two, five, seven, five. Yep, nine. So that's all we need to do, copy and paste that. And then play switch, I copied and pasted the play gym function uh, and changed everything in terms of switches. I created a switch generator. Um, and that way, every time we call the play switch, we get a new number, as opposed to if we put the switch generator up here uh, with the other variables, um, then we would only get one number and they'd play the same numbers. But because we play it, because we replay that function every time, we get a new number every time or an opportunity for a new number every time. All right, cool. So switch one, place two, all the way through five. Now, this is where we've got. So this is my while loop, gets them to play. While gym score is not equal to five and switch score is not equal to five. I started this off with an or and that was wrong, it's and. So they both need to be less than five because it's gonna stop once somebody gets to five. 
pretty nice. All right, now it gets a little bit weird uh, because we'll play both gym and both switch, but we'll be all right. Anyway, so I've got, what this does right here uh, is it removes all the gyms and all the switches, okay? So I've got it starting at column two, ending at column nine, going from row three all the way up to, or excuse me, row four all the way up to row six, all right? So it cleans everything out. I had to uh, change this up and move this back one so it wouldn't take away the platforms, um, but it worked out really well. And I did this at the beginning. It was at the end to clear the board, but I did it at the beginning so that at the very end you would see the last score. And that's just me. So clear the board right here. Play the gym, play the switch. That gets them to play five, this one to play two, or whatever their random number is. So if the gym counter is greater than the switch counter, they get to score. And we place one block right there. Else if, if the gym counter is less than the switch counter, Cool, if the um, expert wins, we're gonna give him the switch score and we're gonna place a platform. And then I reset the gym counter and reset the switch counter because those are counting how many are out each time. And then just for funsies, I've got it so that whoever wins the whole thing goes, to celebrate, uh, goes and celebrates. So if gym score is equal to five, and I've just haven't played a five, obviously. Then this character is going to uh, roll out. Hopper is going to roll out, come over here and dance like nobody's watching. Or if the expert um, wins, he's going to come over here and uh, do the same thing. He's going to end up right there and he's going to celebrate. All right. Super cool thing. I'll run this through one more time for you. But I am excited about how well this turned out. And I'm excited to teach this. Uh, to my students and maybe I'll do uh, a follow-up lesson um, for this to show you how I, I went about it or how to make your own one. So pretty cool. Oh, this dude won again. Um, anyway, if you want to see that, go ahead and say hi in the comments. If you've reached this far, you might as well hit like and subscribe um, and, and say something fun in the comments for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm super excited about how this worked out. Uh, have a great day. I love you. Bye.